trial called ATOM, which compared 10 years of tamoxifen treatment with five years of tamoxifen treatment. It was a very large and long study, it started 20 years ago, includes almost 7,000 women. And what we found is that continuing tamoxifen didn't have much effect for the first five years, but after that, it reduced breast cancer deaths by 25%. And taking tamoxifen for five years is already a very effective treatment and reduces your chance of dying by a third. So reducing that by another quarter with longer treatment means that 10 years of tamoxifen reduces your chance of breast cancer death by 50% after year 10. That's a very large reduction. And uh, I think this will be very important in incremental improvements and outcome. We're already seeing big drops in breast cancer mortality and I think this will help uh, continue that. The main risk, the very well-known risk of tamoxifen, is that it increases the risk of endometrial cancer. And we did see an increase in endometrial cancer with 10 years compared to 5 years. That's cancer of the lining of the womb. But for every endometrial cancer death that's caused by longer by 10 years of tamoxifen, 30 breast cancer deaths are prevented and so the benefits greatly outweigh the risks. With the ATLAS trial and three small earlier trials we now have overwhelming evidence that breast cancer mortality is reduced by 10 years of tamoxifen compared to five years and I think that really does answer the question on tamoxifen. There's certainly no need for other trials as big and long as this and I think we really know how to use tamoxifen. There are doubts about whether longer aromatase inhibitors might be more effective. There are ongoing trials, but at the moment we know that women who've completed their standard of five years of hormonal treatment, that carrying on for another five years with tamoxifen, the benefits outweigh the risk. And so I think we, you know, we, we, we could do with some more studies to know about how to combine aromatase inhibitors and tamoxifen for postmenopausal women. There's always need to fine-tune treatments, but tamoxifen, I think we now have a very good idea of how good a drug it is.